Okay, so um, I'm just going to have a quick chat about one of the best tools that you can have in your prospecting kit in your vehicle at any stage. It's this thing here, it's your mobile phone. And the thing you need on this mobile phone, the tool you need on this one, or the app that you need on this, is this one right here, Australian Geology. It used to be called Trilobite. And let me tell you, hands down, that this is the best, the best tool that you can have in the toolbox. Australian Geology, that app right there. So download it. Now, the beauty about this app here is it will work when you're out of range. So with no internet, it will work. Now, once you've downloaded this app here, what you need to do is now, as I say, it's going to cost you about 24 bucks, but it's well worth it. Once you've done your 24 bucks, and you've spent that money and you've downloaded it, is you need to manage your downloads and start downloading different layers that you can get for all the different areas or different places you can go to prospect. So we're looking at Western Australia. So scroll down until you get to Western Australia. Uh, Western Australia Detailed Geology and we'll install the ones that you want to get. So whether it's we've got some there in um, Halls Creek areas, Mictharra, Perth, we we'll find a whole lot out there. Wollonia. Uh, so download the basic geology. That's pretty straightforward. It's some more interesting ones that you probably want to download. Is your resources. Um, I need to update that, and um, also your layers as well. So your layers can be important because you've got your precious metals there. Okay. So uh, precious minerals. Minerals. Download that there. Your pastoral leases, exploration licenses. Um, prospecting licenses, licenses, mineral leases, general purpose leases, mineral leases, all very important to download those ones there. Because what that, that's going to do is it's going to give you a bit of a an idea of the ground that you're going to walk on, or you want to walk on, if you can legally go onto the ground or not. So effectively the tenements, the tenements you want to get on and check out that ground to see if, it's, um, see if you can legally go on there without getting a permit. Precious metals, download that because that's going to download all the gold where gold's been found and gold mines within the area that you're downloading. So, within the Western Australia region, for for example, for what we're looking at now. Oh, I need to update down uh, this one here. So, that's WA Resources. Um, so, that uh, will update gold, gems, and other mining workshops and more. Um, so obviously that one's really important to download as well. Uh, but what's also important is you update it regularly as well, especially if you're going to go out. Because the last thing you want to go out there do is get out there and get on some ground that you think might be good, and uh, you haven't got the current information on there, and you walk onto some pending ground, and it's not pending, and you get in trouble from the gold police. And believe me, the gold police turn up. They're going to confiscate everything you have, and you're in a whole lot of pain and a whole lot of trouble. Um, so now you're probably wondering, well, what's all these dots? Well, that's from one of those downloads, all the precious metals and minerals. And what they are is they're gold mines and also gold finds. So if I press on one, you'll see that it brings up something there. It says, Mitchell Pit, are you mine shut? And then press on that again. It's going to tell me a little bit more about that mine, what they're there for, what they're finding. So as we can see, there's heavy days. Get out of there and click on the X to get out of there and happy days. But now how I use this, now I, I have actually been in this area. You can see my tracking on there. Um, now that tracking, how I got that on there is it has actually got a tracking app. So down here on the left hand side, you press that there. Well that will now track me when I'm on the ground. If I've got that turned on, it's going to track where I walk and whatnot uh, within this gold area. Now that's pretty cool. You can use that to um, sort of back pedal. Uh, also as a bit of a um, to look back later and see where you've walked um, but you know at the end of the day I would advise if you want to use this don't use this to buddy in case you get lost yeah okay and if you forget your GPS fine but you got to make sure you got that turned on because if you haven't got that turned on you're not going to know where you were it's not going to track and you're not going to find your way back to the car so best bet is to carry a GPS as well as soon as you get out of that car you mark your position Turn your GPS back off because you've saved yourself a waypoint. If you get lost, then you can turn it on and it'll take you back to the car every single time. So don't rely on this. 
Uh, it's good for tracking though if you want to uh, work out where you've been swinging and whatnot. Uh, as you can see, you can see I've been swinging in here, in this area here. See where I've been walking. You probably see these lines here too. So you know that's another indicator that you know, all those lines, they were scraped. So these are all scrapes. Um, where a mining company, whoever's been working that lease, has gone through looking for the gold. Now, getting back to all these dots, is me to find some good area. I go, well, there's a whole heap of dots in here, and they all sort of line up, and that's why I picked that area there. You know, well, if I'm in line with that, I'm going to maximise my chances to get some gold. Rather than being out here where there's nothing, I'm probably going to get nothing. So being in line with this, and where there is the gold is a really good idea. Now, for me to find out, is that land okay? Is it okay for me to go back in there and have a swing? Because I might be heading down there in a couple of months. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer. So if I click on satellite imagery for a start, we've got a whole lot of different things we can do here. So we've got one here that says WA Current Tenements. So I'm going to click on WA Current Tenements, and it's going to bring it up. And we can see that it's blue in that area. Now that means it is pending. So I can legally walk onto that land without a permit and I can go and prospect me hardest and not get in trouble and not worry about looking over your shoulder, which is the last thing you want to do. As far as the green goes, it is a big no-no. You cannot go on there unless you have a permit through the mines department. So stay away from it or you're just asking for bloody trouble. There's plenty of blue ground around. Well, to be honest, actually, there's not a lot. There's a lot more green than blue, but there's enough around that you can look at it as we are here and work out, well, here's some good ground here. Let's go and have a bloody look. Now, if, you're, if you've are if you got the new technology and the right technology, get out there and give it a go. The GPX uh, 6000s are smashing it at the moment. But, um, you know, that's to say, not to say, though, if you've only got an SDC, you're know, certainly going to find the gold as well. As I say, the best detector that um, you can have is perhaps the one that you've actually got that's how that works pretty easy this is the best piece of information I've got in my kit so uh, just a bit of um, yeah there you go and um, download it from the App Store and it is going to um, yeah certainly help you get out there and find the gold